seven tenths of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Yet only 3% is fresh water, mostly trapped in glaciers. The water that maintains ecosystems and that we use for agricultural irrigation, industrial production, and daily activities comes from rivers and underground water aquifers. And it's only a tiny fraction of the world's freshwater heritage, 0.006%. A precious resource that must be managed with care, especially in areas where it is less available. In Tuscany, we live at the limit of uh, the sustainable exploitation of the water uh, resource. This is uh, exacerbated by the recurring climate change uh, crisis in terms of drought period. The Val di Cornia is one of the least rainy areas in Tuscany where agriculture is one of the major economic sectors and where the underground water under the Cornia River feeds the balance of the precious ecosystem of coastal parks and the agricultural production sector. This delicate area of great natural beauty was the ideal field of application for a technology transfer project of the Institute of Life Science, the project called Life Rewat. These were the interventions that have had a real impact on the management and saving of the local water resources. We built the first Italian uh, managed aquifer recharge schemes to store in the underground up to 1.3 million cubic meter of water and we contributed to, to design and realize it in a very short time. In the municipality of Suvoretto, an infiltration basin was created deriving water from the river in periods of maximum flow. The water that flows into this basin gradually infiltrates the soil, bringing the underground water to its maximum level. But managing the water resource also means respecting the balance of the ecosystem river. In the last 100 years, due to human activities and in particular to quarrying of materials for constructions, we have completely altered the riverbed of the Fiume Cornia. This was transformed in somehow a pipeline, a channel that was delivering water directly to the sea as fast as we can. This was the concept of the 70s. But this, this completely disconnected the river from the environment and we don't want a river disconnected from the environment. In the Life Reward, we performed river restoration activities that brought back the river profile to 150 years ago and reconnected completely the river with the environment, even by an ecological point of view. A third intervention directly involves farmers, their training and awareness, together with the implementation of innovative irrigation technologies. In Life Reward, we aimed at pushing with the efficiency of the irrigation and in training the farmers that water has a real value. In that sense, we built a precision irrigation system for irrigation workshops that helped the farmers to save up to 70% of water during irrigation, maintaining the crop production. Finally, the project included a program to reduce the loss of urban water network and an innovative project for the reuse of wastewater from the urban treatment plant for the irrigation of the municipal football field. We set up a treated wastewater reuse infrastructure for the irrigation of a sport field. This kind of irrigation schemes uh, needs particular attention because we need that the water that is deemed for irrigation is microbiologically pure. The goal of the Life Rewat project has been fully achieved. It is the demonstration that sustainable management of water resources is possible and convenient for humans and for the planet, the only one we have and whose resources are limited. What we have done in, in the Valdiconia area uh, is a unicum at Euro-Mediterranean scale for the number and the innovation of the infrastructures we have realized and the innovative concept used. Thus the knowledge generated in an Academy of Excellence reaches an even higher value when it manages to transform and protect the world around us.